Hello, everybody. Welcome to another and a long list of painting whiz kids greatness. We're starting wave 12. So wave 12 just released at miniature market yesterday. So we are starting right off the bat. Um, we're going to be painting wave 12 until we paint it all. Uh, we have it all. We're going to paint it all. So we're going to take one a week. And, you know, we'll take a little break in between and so forth and so on. Rowan, how are you? Helen, how are you? Moondog, how are you? Uh, let's see who else we have. Haley, how are you? I'm all right. How about you? Um, I decided to take a different twist on this a bit. Uh, first of all, um, just to pass along, if anybody comes in and asks, uh, the people that played the uh, giveaway game last week, uh, your gift certificates will be going out this weekend. It's been a hellacious week. That's all I can tell you. Uh, let's see. What else? We're giving everybody a little chance to come in here. Now, I decided to do something different with this. So we had to skip ahead a, a bit in order to kind of accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. Uh, of course, I always think outside the box. What can I tell you? Now, today we are doing the giant spider and its eggs. Now, I decided to change the giant spider instead of just painting it black and going, you know, like a balloon animal and go eh, 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 llama. No, I decided to go, why don't we do something uh, a little different and go with an ice spider. Why? Oh, I will tell you why, because I'm in the middle of getting everything all prepped up for the second edition of Frostgrave. Frostgrave, if you saw the video that I did uh, this after this morning, um, I kind of go through everything, and I think you guys will really enjoy the game. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm just moving some stuff over here. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. And I, as I was going through the beastery, like I can say that correctly, uh, I decided to make an ice spider. I needed an ice spider. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. Why? Because I can. Um, so without further ado, I'm trying to think if there was any other maintenance I had to do. Oh, also, uh, after this video is done, I will be putting a link. Um, actually, there's a link in last week's video uh, to see the list of the uh, figures that we're going to be painting going forward. Uh, we now we now get a uh, a, web, a dedicated web area where uh, there'll be a list of everything that I do <coughs> for that series. Hang on for a second. Oh, my God. I've been filming so many videos today. <coughs> my throat is just dry. But we'll get through this. I will get through. Uh, so I'm going uh, Troll, again, I just said. Okay, pay attention. Last week's video has the link where all the creatures are. Okay? Uh, we do them in series of five. So this is, for me, even though we're doing wave 12, this is series five or, or season five. I, I, I always wanted to add the season thing. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, so I had to skip ahead a bit so we can get to where we needed to get. So why don't we why don't we just get right to it? Haley says I am currently wearing a BGG shirt. Look at you. Look at you, young lady. Oh. You know what I'm wearing? NWA, baby. Wrestling, of course. All right. So I'm going to catch up with everything that I did, and we will go from there. How's that? Uh, that there. Uh, let's just go right up top here. There we go. All right. This is our spider. Now, he comes with these eggs here. Okay. We're going to take care of these eggs. Don't worry about it. 
Now, I know what you're saying, Rob. Why'd you paint all this ahead of time? Because I had to. All right. First thing that we use. Oh, hold on. Let me get the right color here. You're going to want to go to your arm, uh, Army Painter War Paint and get some electric blue. And that is what is on my man here. Okay. I just covered them in electric blue. We're going to worry about the rest of it later. The base, I used a uniform gray. And then I kind of went over it a little bit with a little ash gray. But you know how we do bases. And all I did was just put a little glue and add a little snow there. Okay? Reason for it. Reason for it. Because we, we have to keep this moving. We have to keep this moving. All right? So again, paint your paint your spider completely with electric blue, all right? And then we're going to take it from there, okay? Your base, you want a dark gray, okay? And then you just want to dry dry brush over it with a little ash gray. Let me move this out of the way. Hold on here. A little ash gray over the top of your uniform gray. All right? Now, first thing we want to do, and I saved this for you guys, was you're going to want to take a little bit of blue tone, a lot of blue tone, actually, a lot of blue tone. Joe, what's up? Ryan, Mo, King Fat, winner from last week. He did get his thing. Volley Chick. Oh, Volley Chick. It's been, yeah, it's been one of those. Ugh. The last two weeks have been brutal. All right, so now what are we gonna do here? See, I lost I lost train of thought. Oh, we're gonna take we're gonna take some blue tone here. I'm sorry, I'm I'm losing my mind. What was used for snow? Uh we used actual snow, Joe. We discussed this last week on how to use this stuff, but uh what you're gonna do is you are going to go get snow and that's exactly what i used okay on top of that i had to paint rambo so we can do rambo tomorrow so good time good time was had by all all right uh let me pour a little bit of this out and let's get going all right, because this is this is going to be the main crux of this entire show, and that's why I had to paint this uh, ahead a bit. Was because we we're going to put this wash on here, and this wash is very important because it's going to bring out the details of my man here, and that's going to take a while to dry. So all I want to do is go over. But my boy, the spider. Oh, this is the wrong brush. Wrong brush. Wrong brush. Wrong brush for this. Jeez. Uh, I just can't get out of my own way today. You know what it is? I'm exhausted. But I seem to be complaining about that every chance I get, huh? All right. So now all I want to do is I want to be very careful. I'm not worried about streaking this. Because I'm going to go over this. But we want to take this blue wash and really go over there and get in the recesses. All right. Really, really important here. All right. Because this is where we're going to get a nice bit of shade here. And that's okay how it looks underneath. I'm not worried about that. All I care about is getting this on here. Because this is going to be, remember what I tell you, we darken everything up, at least I do, before I can lighten it up. All right. So there's a couple of things that we're going to do here. All right. Come on, big fella. Come on, big boy. And again, get underneath here. Okay. See, there's a lot of detail underneath there. So you want to make sure that you get that. You want to make sure you get that. And you don't want this stuff to go on heavy, okay? You don't want it to go on heavy because you don't want it dripping on your 
That's right. You don't want it dripping on your... There we go. I'm sorry if I got a bad angle here. But we just have to get this in here. All right. Come on. It's the way the spider is done. All right. There we go. I, I'm trying to get this as evenly as I can. On his back there, I really didn't need to put it on there. But all right, let's turn that a bit. Okay. There we go. Let's get a little bit more of this wash. I want to be very, very careful with this. Usually you can just go woomph with your wash, but there are times when you really want to be very, very careful with what you're doing here. Because there's a, 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 there's a lot to what we have to do today, and I hope we can get this all done within an hour. And you're saying, Ron, why couldn't you just paint the, the, the guys in black? Would have been like a really quick thing. And then I go, yeah, you know, I was going to do that. But then all of a sudden I came up with this really weird idea. And I said, well, you know, let's, let's do something a little different today. Let's do something a little different. So as you can see, he's really getting this dark, dark blue hue. All right. Don't you know it. All right. And I want to get all that in there at a can. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. I want to be very, very careful. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now I need him to dry for the most part. I need him to dry so we can dry brush him. Yes, those magical words. Okay, so we're going to put him over here. Dry, quickly. I got air conditioning blowing on you. Got you perfectly into exactly where I want you to be, Mr. Spider. Oh, I saw that area there. And I'm, I'm making sure that I get all in the recesses because that's all, that's all I really want to do with this is really work the recesses. Now, as far as eyes are concerned, I really wouldn't... I wouldn't go crazy. I, th I think yellow eyes. Red eyes would just drown out. Okay? It would just be... It just wouldn't work as far as I'm going to say. I'll tell you what you need, Mo, is a permanent map. I can definitely set you up with a permanent nap, my friend. <laughs> The Mo. The Mo getting his two cents in. As always. All right, so let's go over to these eggs. Now, I went around the outside with, um, as you can see, dry. Don't look at me funny. Dry. In fact, I'm going to put you right up here so you get right in the air, buddy. All right, we need you to dry quickly. There, stay there. All right. See, that's how you get your stuff. As long as it ain't a dirt nap. <laughs> Be a dumpster nap. Um, they have these clear eggs here. And I painted this gray around the outside. I really like what they do with these clear things, but they kind of make it tough because now you got to make a decision here. So this is the one time that we're going to take... I'm thinking of taking some soul... Uh, soul stone blue which is a technical paint and going over that plastic because i think that'll take to it very well so i kind of want to i want to make these like really stand out a bit all right so let's see how that works it may not work i have not tried this but this is just an idea that i have and this is what we do here we experiment why so you don't have to so you can say wow rob that was really bad was really bad why did you do that because you just ruined everything that we were trying to do here no well, if it doesn't work we have always got another plan eh, well hold on here for a second there i went oh, i don't like it and i was about to abandon it well i don't know i don't know yet hmm Hmm. 
And I don't think that's going to work on that kind of plastic. It was worth a shot. Maybe a glaze. Hmm. All right. No, I don't like it. See, this now, don't do what I just did. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it off best I can, and then I've got another idea. Because I have some glazes in there. Ah, you know what? The the blue in, in there actually is going to work for what I'm going to try to do next. For what I'm going to try to do next. Uh, what a way watcher green glaze. That might do it. I want to keep that kind of fluorescence, like like they glow kind of thing, you know? All right, let's see here. Carlos, how are you? He says he's late, but he's here. He's in time. Listen, you're never late. The only time you're late is if you missed a drawing. That's the way I see it. All right, let's, let, let, I'm going to mess around. I'm going to mess around here. Let's see if this will work. It's very hard with this translucent. Eh, yeah, okay. I mean, I don't hate it. Don't love it either. Pile of green eggs. <laughs> green eggs. <laughs> I just realized that. Hey, I'm making green eggs. So we're going to let that dry as well. Meanwhile, our spider is doing what he's supposed to do and drying. All right. Hmm. It's not the worst thing I've seen. It's not the worst thing I've seen. No. All right, let's see. Is that you, Queen? Yes. What are you doing? Putting my vinyl away. You're putting your vinyl away. While I'm streaming. Bye. Yeah, yeah. There she goes. A hello from the Queen. All right, that I like that. Man, if only there were little spiders in there. That would be real cool. But you want them kind of see-through, you know? So I'm going to keep on, I'm, I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then we're going to come back and do a second coat and see if that hops it up a little bit. I kind of I kind of like that. I like the see-through and the disgusting green part of it. Hmm. Is that a contrast paint you might suggest? Uh, no, actually, it is a glaze. Uh, it is Way Watcher Green. Uh, the contrast doesn't go on the translucent plastic that well. That's what I found. That's what I found. All right. So there we go. We're going to do that. Now, let me take a look at this guy. How's he drying? Yeah, he's drying pretty quick. I like that. I like that. All right. All right. So we're going to start working on him in areas that I feel that I'm a little more comfortable with working on. So I want to get some skeletal bone, or you shabby bone if you for you uh, for you Citadel fans out there. All right, I think that'll yeah uh, if yeah because if I'm careful, I just got to be careful. That's all. All right, let's get a little bit of that out there. And what I want to do here is I'm going to get my little brush here. There we go. Come on. All right. And he's got some fangs here. As a matter of fact, i got to put my headset on. My eyes are just way too tired. I doubt it would be something to grab onto, and you need a clear primer for that. Well, again, all I'm trying to do is really uh, just make them kind of translucent and, and add some color to them. No. All 
All right, so I want to do these fangs here. Now, I want these to kind of stick out a little bit, but I don't want them to take over this whole creature here, okay? So again, I'm kind of doing this right now to kill some time. Waiting for that to really, really dry nicely on there. All right. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that to a degree. All right, there we go. All right, so we got some fangs in there. You gotta have fangs in your spider. Spider gotta have fangs. I mean, you're stuck in the webbing. Nothing good's going on. Yep, you got it. Now we're gonna go back. I really want to do this the right way. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna need a couple of coats on here. But there's a reason for that. And we're going to go back to our electric blue here, okay? And there's certain areas that we're really going to want to hit home here. So we're going to take some of that, put that in here. There we go. And then I want to get a good amount of this on my paintbrush. Oh, yeah. And of course, as always, we, as the minute we get it on our brush, we want to get it off our brush, too. All right. Godzilla lover, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope everything's okay. I was thinking about you. Oh, I think it was yesterday. And then the day before. I said, well, geez, where's Godzilla ever been? She's probably been busy. All right. So, again, just taking and making sure that's in that brush very nicely. As the queen comes out here for something yet again in the refrigerator. Who drank your sweet tea? Oh, I drank your sweet tea. How come I'm drinking water all the time? Well, don't look at me. Oh, jeez. Anne, how are you? All right, so here we go. She's got me completely thrown off now. That's what she does. She's complaining about her sweet tea. And all I want to do is I really just want to come over nice and easy because we want him to look cold cold and forbidding but I don't want to take cold and forbidding the way I'm being treated right now by the queen <laughs> Dan Uso just dropping some cash thank you brother you know what that means we're going to let that sit for a few seconds I need to go buy you some sweet tea. I don't need to buy you anything, woman. You have everything. Suck the life out of me. Dan, this is for you. Does he get the music, though? Oh, Dan. Thank you, though. Thank you, Dan. He did get Godzilla. Godzilla is very greedy lately. He's been very, 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 very stingy with his music. Uh oh, things things have been a bit rough right now, but thanks. Well, if you if you want to talk, you know where to find me, young lady. If there's something I can do. It's what we try to do here at this channel. Okay, so let's get back to our boy here. Let's right, see, now I'm gonna, I'll shoot you a letter after this. All right, I wanna be careful here, because you really don't want, all right, just nice and lightly over our little spider friend here. Just lightly. 
nice and lightly just nice and light careful 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 of those those fangs we don't want to get those fangs and we just kind of want to work 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 but this isn't the only layer that we're gonna lay in here all right there we go see and underneath here and you can see what that's doing right there see how that pulls now all of a sudden we're pulling that detail out and that's what i wanted to do the whole time through all right i'm starting to think the queen wants to be a youtube star because she keeps on coming out here maybe we should just have her on Oh, Dan Uso, again, again, we could take a break here. All right. Dan wants the music. Thank you, brother. All right, let's see. Let's see, Dan. Let's see. Does Dan get the music here? Oh, he got it. Jackpot. Nice job, Dan. Thank you, brother. Dang. Dan got the music. Jeez. How many people get the music lately? All right. So, again, I'm just... I want this guy to be as cold and as nasty as they come. And, and if you notice, I'm kind of being very easy with how I go about this on his um whatever you want to call this his, his body and his frame i don't want to lose all that wash i put in there either okay we don't want to lose that and we definitely want to get our brush in there I want to get it in there i want to be careful around those fangs remember got to be careful around those fangs get underneath here all right Don't be afraid. Once, once you got a feel for it, don't be afraid to really work that in there. Really work that in there. Mo, all I can tell you is this. Because Mo's still going on about translucent. No, if you like to learn about translucence, go check out our water elementals. We did that not too long ago. I think you'll really enjoy it. Switched over from YouTube. Thank you, super frequent daddy, for going over. If you're having a problem with translucence and you're trying to figure it out, please go check out our water elementals. Ah, oh, goodness me, goodness me, goodness me. <laughs> Make sure you go over and check my boy Mo out on, on his channel, Mo's Game Table. Very, 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 very good uh, channel. And if you're not subscribed, shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> oh, Mo. All right. Just want to get a little, just a little bit more here. Because we're going to go over this with something else, too, as well. I don't want it to just be this. I think people make them too bright at times. And to be honest, I mean, these are, he looks cold. I want him to look cold. All right, there we go. <laughs> what would you say are the fundamentals of translucent painting?
to learn the fundamentals of translucent painting, go over and check out our, our video that we did when we painted water elementals. And you will learn everything you need to know about translucent painting. All right, next. Next, this is gonna be a little interesting because we're, we're gonna try some things here that I really haven't messed with. So I think you guys can do this as well, especially if I'm thinking of doing it. All right. I like this fog gray and I think a little touch of fog gray over the top of him would be very, very nice. I really, really do. But it's got to be just such a smidgen. Just a kiss. If you're going to use Army Painter paints, make sure... <laughs> Oh, hell and hell and hell. I should just send you a link. What am I doing? Uh, hold on here, folks. Let's see if we can get our our old girl here while I shake up this. I think this, this fog gray would go over very, very well. Just It just gives a little bit a kiss there that we want to give to him I think that would be pretty good uh, let me just do this real quick folks just give me a second here all right there we go oh, oh, oh cancel all right let's go back and I think it'll just fill him out just enough, just enough from what from what I need. From what I need, I think. There we go. And let me just grab my headset real quick. Oh, there we go. Put that over the top. All right, let's just get let's get some of this gray. It's it's a bluish gray. It's almost kind of a like a a veteran, uh, a space, a space wolf gray. So um, I think that will add a whole dimension to it. Uh, let me just shrink this down to windowed for a second here, folks. Hold on here for a second. We're just making an adjustment here. No, that way I can hear. Why? Because uh, here she is. Hey, everybody. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. Right, hold on. Uh, okay. That way I don't have to look up. <laughs> it, it does help a little, doesn't it? You've been busy lately? Uh, keeping busy, yeah. Okay. All right. uh, yes, you're welcome. Uh, we aim to be helpful around here. Mo. So we're going to use this fog gray. I really think it'll give a nice little kiss to our boy here. And then we're going to kind of... How, how much time are we in here? Oh, not bad. We're only halfway through. Good, good, good. You see, see how this gray kind of works in with this blue? Yeah. And I really want to take this off because I really don't want this to overtake the model. But I do want it to clean up some of the area of the model. All right, Helen? Yes. All right, there. See how that goes over that very nicely? Uh-huh. <laughs> like you care. Oh, you caught me just before I got everything caught up for you. Oh, you were sneaking in trying to get everything done so oh, you wouldn't get yelled at. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like you get yelled at. I was going to say, you know what happens if you yell at me, right? I now? get yelled at. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, there we go. No, I just gotta make everything look good, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell make you, make it in what, when I can. What a week it's been, huh? Oh man, you aren't kidding. I mean, do you did you see all the stuff? I mean, we got hit with. Uh, crazy. Uh, uh, Frostgrave. Then uh, we had we did the vampire thing. Oh. Um. um what else did I do? Let's see, we did what, Frostgrave, the vampire thing. Obviously, we did Sabudio. Oh uh, yeah, Sabudio. Uh, four against week. the old ones. Yeah, four against the old ones. We did a whole bunch of videos on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we got another part to do with that. All the things that I planned on doing. Yep, got put off. Got put off. Because why not, right? <laughs> well, Rambo. I, I know. All oh, that. I forgot Rambo. That was a. That one just looks like fun. It just looks you like. Guys, want to see? Do you, does anybody want to see what Rambo looks like for tomorrow? Everything epic. Oh, I'd love to. Okay. For what it's I, worth, I, though, I, everything epic. Just, I mean, they knock it out of the park. They do. So I got, I got a good amount of this. Don't mention ice teas. Okay. I don't think anybody wants to see it. To be honest with you. Don't mention the iced tea. Oh yeah. Right. Rambo looks epic. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Looking so, good. So that's one of the Rambos. Okay. Um. We got the Vietnamese that we did. Uh -huh. They're all ready to go. There you go. Wow. We're ready to go for tomorrow. We're ready to go for tomorrow. Can you Sweet. see him, Hell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. So I got those painted up. Because why? Because we can't paint, play anything on this channel as it's painted. <laughs> Jeez. This is this is this is why we love uh, pre-painted minis anymore, right? Oh God, <laughs> standies standies make me very happy. <laughs> I know. Standies Channel are, built on painting minis, and we get all excited when the game has standies. Gotta love yeah. it. Gotta love it when when you get excited and you see standies. Um, jeez. Let's see. What do I want to try to do here? Uh, I just don't know if I can get what I want out of this. Hold on here. No, oh, that's unfortunate. You can do it. Well, I'm trying to think. Those eggs are bothering me. Uh huh. Yeah, it, it, it did. They they're, did look like I I looked at them briefly, and they did look like they were going to be an interesting uh, challenge. Let me try something real quick here. Let's see if this does it. I'd be very happy if this worked, and then I can point everybody in the right direction. All right, let's see. I don't know. We'll try it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Rambo looks like he's ready to watch Sabudio on Sunday. Yes, he is. Uh, all right. Okay. Found it. Oh, sweet. So what are we using? We okay, and used... by we, I mean you. Oh, me. You mean. Uh, hold on. Let me just finish up here. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. Uh, I went with the Citadel Contrast Warped Lightning. Ah. Sweet. Warped Lightning. Interesting little little tidbit there and uh -huh. it gives enough glow that i want perfect awesome. all right so change that to warp lightning contrast all right everybody who is doing something else yeah wipe yeah, it off sir. do this because rob said so yeah well no i mean do it do it do whatever you want to do because it works no, i don't like yeah, because it works um, all right next thing i want to do I want to drop uh, a little. Uh, Kabuki either. just rewatched First Blood. Did she? That's why Kabuki is who she is. All right. That's why. Because she's getting in the mood because she knows I'm going to do this tomorrow. And she's excited about it. So she went and watched First Blood. 
Let me tell you something. I don't know why those guys messed with him. They should have just left him alone. I'm going to use a little mid-brown here. All right. Uh, for the fangs. For the fangs. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the fangs. The fangs. The fangs. Big pointy fangs. All right. And that's just going to give us what just a little, a little bit. That's all I need. Just a little bit. Because nobody's got perfect fangs. All right. There we go. That's going to make him disgusting. Yes. That's what we're going for. Pure disgust. Now, hmm. next thing I want to try to do is a little outside the norm. But I don't know if I can pull this off. Isn't most of what we do outside the norm? Oh, well, yeah. Um, if you guys have any cheesecloth or really good um, uh, cotton balls will work. Mm -hmm. well, I kind of want to do like a little webbing all over the place. Ooh. Where's my, where's my, okay, there we go. My cutters. Um, okay, that, I'm going to have to go get a pair of scissors. Oh, no. Uh, Terry says scissors. gauze is the best. You gauze, same thing, cheese cloth. Yeah. Uh, Helen, entertain everybody. Oh. For a second. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So how many of you out there in, in YouTube land or have been painting along with Rob? Just out of, that's usually my standard question. Unfortunately, I have to admit, I can get thrown out of the uh, chat that I have not seen the Rambo movies. Maybe eventually. Yeah. Yeah, First Blood really was boilerplate for the action movies that followed it. That much I knew. I, I was... I'm not that out of it, just mostly. Although my husband gives me grief about it all the time. All right, I'm back. I don't think Miniature Market has mailed out the Wave 12 minis yet. Uh, they, just came, uh, they just came in. Yep. They just came in yesterday. All right, so I'm going to kind of... So they should be on the way, but we've had plenty of other minis for you to paint in our series. So just curious if anybody was out, was working on those. Let's see. I really want to get that in here a bit. So it sits up like that. Yeah, that kind of works for me. Cool. I think. And that's why we have glue. Ah, Moondoggy has been trying to keep up, but he's behind. He has all the minis except for this one. That sounds really. Fair. Uh, the new list, like I said, Brian's is... just been painting tents and supplies. Yeah, um, we talked about maybe doing some of the like set pieces and things. What's uh, that? Uh, Wave 12 has a whole bunch of set pieces. Right. So we're going to be... But uh, until Wave 12 came out with set pieces in it, uh, since WizKids was kind of partnering with us on this, it was kind of tough. Uh, Wave 12 showed up in my in both of the friendly local game stores today. Yep. There you go. So check them out there. If, we're going to be but doing... Mini Market should be getting those out first, first thing. Or soonest. What do you mean get them out? If oh, if uh, people if, pre order if you if you haven't if you haven't ordered it already, they should be coming to you soonest. Or if they if you haven't arrived, they should soon. Is yep. my what I'm trying to say inartfully here. Ah, I see. Yeah. All right. So I, all I'm doing, Martha, is just you're trying never to make late. It a never late. Never late. I'm trying to make this as stringy as humanly possible. The fact without that you joined us is great. Yeah. And really, just kind of make this kind of as weepy as possible oh. come on if i don't like it i will pull it oh, no there we go that's what i'm looking for because you want 
I'll tell you something. If I had a little dude here, I would put him in there. <laughs> <laughs> just say, dude, bad idea. Dude. Yeah. Um, so let's actually, what was it? Uh, Citadel makes a uh, pack of sp of like skulls that I find works really nicely for that. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, but again, this was like, like a last a skull in there. Yeah, like not just, really just kind of a, Or if you have other miniatures that you're not using, kit bashing always works. Cut up a miniature, stick bits of it in there. All right. Now the other thing I want to do here, and what I'm trying to do is really just make this guy just as nasty as. Godzilla says awesome. thanks for the tip on the gauze webbing. Yeah, see? Takes it up to the next level. Why not? As does well, Anne. Hi, Anne. Good to see you. Hi, Anne. Uh, I don't want to take away all of... I don't want to take the base away and, and take it away from the miniature. I want the webbing to be very subtle. Martha suggests using a used dryer sheet if you don't have gauze or cotton. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's a non. It's also a non-woven cloth. So, all right. Yeah, that would be right there. Would look pretty cool. Just make sure that you know it didn't get dyed pink somehow or something silly. <laughs> Just you know. Yeah. Okay. Un unless you have a, unless your world has a giant spider that throws pink that builds pink webs, at which case, you know, go with it. Go you with tell the your pink story. Spider. Yeah, you tell your story your way. All right. Let's so throw a little monkey glue on there. There we go. That ain't going nowhere. There we go. All right. So you add in a little webbing. Try not to take away from the snow and everything, and, and there you go. All right, so now we're going to put that aside. Now what I want to do is I want to take his eyes. His eyes are, are probably the most important part of this dude. Um, and I want to make sure I do it a certain way. So I'm going to go with a babe blonde and then a moon dust over the top. Hmm. All right. Babe Blonde. <laughs> Who came up with that? Martha, how are you? It looks also really creepy. Yeah, the, the, that would be the dryer sheet. What's that? Uh, she's the one that gave us the dryer sheet tip. Oh, okay. The other thing is, I think Martha won uh, during the uh, roll-off, right? Uh, perhaps. Okay. Uh, I've been really busy, and I promise you this weekend we will get out those gift certificates, along with our winner from today's uh, Spectacular. All right. So, again, very easily. If you weren't here for the beginning, first off, we have a new link uh, to the mini markets uh, page. They built us a whole new page. So uh, the link has changed if you had it bookmarked. Um, my apologies. And then also Rob has uh, been, had a crazy week, but he is going to be getting our uh, the winner certificates out from the tumbling dice game. And then today, hopefully... Mm -hmm. And next week, we will be doing the tumbling dice for some monumental prices. Oh, man. Count me in. I'm so usually too busy doing math. If you math, are so. not subscribed to Rob's Tabletop World. Well, you are doing it wrong. You are not allowed to play. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing it wrong. I like mine better. You're doing it wrong. I like the yellow eyes. And... Instead of going red, a lot of people would go red over here. I yeah, think Martha says it wasn't her. She wishes. Oh, it wasn't? Okay. So well, better anybody... luck. You can win today or apparently next week. There you go. Although I go back to work next week, so oh, you may see less of my bright, shiny face. It'll be the end of the week. 
Are you working at the end of the week, young lady? I got no idea. I think uh, I work Tuesday. Another giveaway today? Oh, yeah. We're always giving Tuesday. away stuff. Always a giveaway. I think I work Tuesday, Thursday next week. Tuesday, Thursday? Okay, then we'll do it on Friday. Well, we'll I mean, do it on technically, Friday. I work all five days, but I'm in the office Tuesday, Thursday. That's what I mean. <laughs> I guess I should clarify, just in case anybody I work with is actually paying attention. <laughs> Why don't we not mention any of it at all? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of that skeleton bone that I had. And all I want to do with that is I want to go over the tips of these things here and bring those back a little bit. All right. Our awful, horrible spider. What is the spider up to? So, is it, is everybody able to see that? Yeah, it looks pretty good on my screen. Okay, good. All right. Uh, I like the yellow eyes. Yellow eyes really work with the blue. Uh, <laughs> yes, Kabuki, it's in the video description. What's that? The fact that there's a giveaway. Oh, I, th I thought I put it there, wasn't it? <sighs> okay. Yep. You did. Okay. I thought I was losing my mind. All right. Next thing we're going to do, take a little bit of this lighter yellow. Where are we at? 50. Oh, an hour. Not bad. Not bad. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of. Tap that. Tap that. Tap that. Just to give a little bit of depth to his eyes. There we go. So they sit up a bit. And that, folks, is how you do the ice spider. Now, if you really want to get a little creative, you could put a little webbing around. You know, depending on what you want to do mm -hmm. around these eggs, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a pain in the neck, but you can get it done. It might be easier than trying to paint the webbing that, you know, is kind yeah. of sort of already there. Yeah. Um, but what I like to do, and I'm just going to take a little light gray here. Actually, I think I'm going to take a little bit of electric, electric blue. I'm going to show you what I, I'm going to do here. And... I'm going to bring that base a little bit to life. Just a little bit. Let me take a little bit of water here. There we go. Loosen up. Yeah, I, I agree. Several people said this. A couple of uh, like the yellow eyes. Agreed. Yeah. as Like Rob said, it, it, it lowers the contrast between the body and the eyes. People always tend to go to the red eyes for the spiders. And I think, I think the only thing that you end up looking at is the red eyes. Mm -hmm. I try to make it where... Like a lot of times I won't use blood on zombies and stuff like that because it takes away from the work that you did on the zombie and it overpowers the zombie at times. Okay, let's see if this will work. So I want to kind of get that little bit of blue ice feel here. And I want to just come around. I know I'm being particular here. All right, there. I'm wrong with a little particularity. All right, and that's gonna get that's gonna set up for what's next. So now that sits for a second. I know you can't see that very well, but, but just trust me. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. This is and again, quick... if you've if you've got a lower resolution screen, you can always uh, there will be uh, pictures, full res pictures on either Rob's on Rob's. Well, uh, well, ever since account? we, ever since we went to uh, which one call it there? Yeah, it's um, definitely much better, but we'll still post pictures better. for you just in case you need them. All right, so we're gonna use. You can use an ash gray. Or. Yeah, how are um, all y'all loving the 4K? By the way, we all need to like bombard Streamyard with thank you. Yeah, the, uh, really. Makes things a lot easier for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to take this. 
our little egg thing. And this is really going to help that green sit up and then just come over the top with this kind of snowy white. And if you wanted to, if you really wanted to get cute with this whole thing, uh -oh. put a little, let me get a little bit more. Hold on. Hold on. All right, there we go. And there we go. And that's what I want. I want it to look like it's these eggs are sitting in a frozen patch. That makes sense. A spider frozen. Uh huh. I'm following uh, the logic here. We could put some snow on top of them, hmm. which isn't a horrible idea. Okay, there we go. And then we can add just a little bit of. Let me get this. I'm trying to rush through this here. <laughs> All right, let's take our cup of snow. When you do this at home, you know, no need to rush. Take your time. Yeah, don't be like me. A lot of times. Try. And even even Rob, sometimes you'll find he'll finish a figure. I've seen him do it. He'll finish a figure and think it's done and then set it down and come back, you know, five minutes, half an hour later and go, you know, that really needs. X, Y, Z. Yeah. This is a bad brush. So I'm going to add a little bit of Elmer's glue there. I like to use the clear stuff. And if you want to get cute, and it may not look cool, but I'm going to go with it anyways. Let's see here. If I just kind of don't want to glob it on, I want to be very careful what I do. Just put a little in certain spots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hello there, kiddo. Huh? <laughs> My kitten oh, decided cat? to come oh, okay, say hello. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to somebody. Uh, well, I mean, she thinks she's somebody. Well, uh, no, no. I mean, I thought a humanoid. Uh -huh. Okay, so. <laughs> I just... use baking soda and powdered glass. Okay. So now those right. eggs are, are sitting there with a little ice on them. Yep. So there it's you go, Martha. Fun. We use proper snow effects for snow effects. There we go. Just a little bit of snow. Just Afternoons, a little snow. Stephen Sites, NBO. Stephen, what's up, my brother? All right, there we go. And that is how you paint an ice spider, which now is ready to be for our frost grave. Uh, oh, well, now it makes perfect sense why we have an ice spider. That's right. I did, I did not put that together. It coincides with today's video of of our, hold on, let me get this up here, of our, what, 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 what? <laughs> I want the uh, 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 eggs. <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be the spider's eggs or is the spider going after the eggs? Th that's the spider's eggs. Okay. We have DJ DJ Rob uh, going uh, on here. Uh, 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 I'm protecting the uh, 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 eggs. <laughs> oh, boy, that's stupid. Where's it, Mo? It's, Where's it's Mo with his bad hat? Uh, apparently, Mo's yeah. already uh, yeah. <laughs> jetted. Yeah. yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> All right. Woo. As you can see, I made sure that we got that done in an hour. Boing. Boom. That's oh! what you do. Steven's five-year-old wanted to play Fireball Island and created a bee swarm. How cool. That is Fireball Island is a great game to play with all kinds of kids. We had a uh, we had a Big free kids, for all small one kids. Time. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh! I got rid of you, Helen. Sorry about that. No. Oh! 
Oh, I'm still here. Okay, Hi. there you go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I didn't go anywhere. You're still All right, so, me. I mean, there you go. I mean, that's pretty much how, how, how you get it done. Um, just very quick, simple. You, you don't need anything out of the ordinary. Um, and it sits up really nice. The key is covering that wash properly and making sure that you can bring out that chest plate. Uh, gauze, cheesecloth, cotton, mm -hmm. whatever dryer you want to use. Huh? Dryer sheets. We had a dryer sheet. Dryer together. sheets. We had a dryer sheet uh, emergency um, that will help um, get you to the finish line there. So, Helen. Yes, sir. It's time to explain for all. Oh, is it that later. time? I'm on. Yes. All right, folks. This is pretty simple. This is Rob's amazing, stupendous giveaway game. Oh, which, by the way, has it. been ripped off by Mo. It's been ripped off by Compass Games. Now they use my my game, which is patent. Okay. That's my day dice game. I came up with that dice game. Now everybody's they saw me do it. They said, Oh yeah, let's give away some I stuff. I like it. Hey. I know. Rob, you know that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, right? Bill, this is gonna cost you. <laughs> hey, he's he's been good to us. Oh god, yeah. God yeah. Uh and Compass has been killing it too. Holy <laughs> no kabuki. I watched uh, Golden Child too. Pretty good. Uh, also, I, I, I want a knife. Knife, 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 knife. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Apparently, my cat is making sure everything. The law firm of Sassafras and uh, Winston over here is making sure that everything's on the up and up. Okay. Um. So. All right. Anyway. So, are you done uh, doing the rules? No. no, we haven't gotten to the rules. We haven't even gotten to. It. That's my girl. So the rules are quite simple. Between the, te the text start now and stop now in the chat, which will come from Rob's Tabletop World, himself, the man, you need to put a number between 1 and 100. One number only. If you put more than one number, you're out. You get disqualified. Only one number. That also means if you're watching here, Twitch, Board Game Geek, The Moon, I don't know. <laughs> one number. All right. Rob is then going to roll the dice. Do we have awesome looking dice this time, Rob? Uh, we just got dice. Let's, let's we have, just we have dice. Do we have go a, right a designated dice. Let's tens go down digit? to our dice. Uh, this is the tens. We're going to designate the orange the tens in case that matters to any of you mm -hmm. out there in the uh, viewing audience. So he's going to roll those two dice. We're going to come up with a number between, wait for it, 1 and 100. Then we're going to do some math, hopefully get it right. The closest to the number wins, and that's over or under. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Gary, not yet. <laughs> he hasn't put Gary, down. Gary, easy. Right. Easy. If two of you are the same distance or two of you have the same number and that happens to be the closest, then we will have the roll off of death. And at that point in time, basically watch the chat and listen to me and I will ask you individual or in turn for a number, we will roll again, and we will until we only have one person that is closest. And that is Rob's amazing giveaway game. So get your numbers ready, and here we know. Boom. And here we go. All right. Numbers coming in. Uh, All right. This is also a great time now that we've got the rules out of the way and start now has been put in the chat. This is a great time if any of you have questions about the current figure, what's coming up, painting questions, things like um, that. Yeah. This next is week is the Naga. Up. Yeah. The Bone Naga. Naga is up next. Yeah. Bone Naga is next. It's actually in the description now. I fixed it. Oh, thank you, my dear. See, that's what happens when I when when you know you don't I, you don't invite me until halfway through. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were coming on because usually you say, "Are we doing this today?" I know. I well, I had a rough then, day yesterday. What can I say? We'll talk later. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, All so right, if anybody has go. comments, I mean, we we feel free to Look discuss. Leo. Leo going with 16 after oh. I was rolling high. I was rolling in the That's 90s true. last week. 
Ah, uh, the Bone Naga is wicked. Yes, I like yes. the looks of it a lot. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that one next week. I'm the glad Gimpy I got Gamer this. has made it in. Gimpy, are you gonna play? Get your number Gimp, in. Gimp, get your, Gimp made it just in time to get his number in. Get your number in. You're eligible. You're eligible, bro. You could win a gift certificate. Lots of little numbers. They don't have any confidence in you this time, Rob. No, no. I think too many of them are watching your um uh uh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna roll too. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna roll. Yeah. See, he, he realize says 19. that tumbling dice is not this game. <laughs> this game is two dice. There's no flicking it down the, the path. Okay. No. No. And we <laughs> usually give everybody enough time to get in there. Yeah. Oh, good. Some lucky numbers coming in here. Wish I had a lucky number. Yeah, I I should have a lucky number, but. Helen, Seems I got like... three three videos coming out tomorrow. Okay. Um, I think I got them all for you. Uh, no, uh, I got three videos that are going to be that are going to that okay, I'm going to upload. Okay, Will we tomorrow. got you down for eighty-eight. No problem. Okay, yeah, it, there you. are a couple of numbers that. Um... Shoot! Please disregard my eleven. I didn't see my forty-three take. Okay. Thank you for okay. letting us know. We'll, we'll let. If you let, let us know, go. we count it. We yep. count it. We count yep, it. Yep. 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 Same Wolf Reaper, yeah, eighty-eight is one of those numbers that, for whatever non-apparent reason, YouTube doesn't like. What, uh, YouTube doesn't like what? Uh, the number, the no, the numerals, numerals of eighty-eight. Why? I don't know. Okay. Oh, Kabuki says it can be a white supremacy thing. Oh, for crying out loud! I have no idea. Obviously, that's you know in my world so i i i, I just I, whatever I, yeah okay wolf you got your 88 no problem <laughs> there you go it's gonna win you watch yep yeah watch i'm gonna roll 88 oh, martha picked 88 too no, you never know you never know we could have a roll off of death on 88 would not be amazing mm -hmm. it's a game for crying out loud all right everybody uh you gotta, you gotta definitely have this. One, this one is one, our, our one game a week that you can win. Oh, I see a stop now. It's so the one game you win. You can a week you can win just for watching this particular video. Any other one, you have to be a subscriber. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you do it now. And hit that like button. Okay, so here we go. We've got, we've got, we've got this. Uh, the orange is the tens, and uh, here we go. Let's All just right. do this. Let's just do this. All right, here we go. What will it be? Will I roll high or will I roll low? Everybody seems to feel that I'm going to roll low. That's a lot of people feeling low this go. And Show them wrong. Uh-oh. 60 even? 60 on the money. 60, 60 on the money. All 60. Right. Dave M with a 46. That's not particularly close. Dan Uzo at 80. Joe Fan, 64. Let's see. 54 is farther away. Sorry, Mallard, New York. Oh, Ice Guardian at 59. Currently in the lead. Ice Guardian. That ain't right, bro. It looks 59, like it's Ice Guardian. 69. I'm not seeing anyone closer. All right. Kabuki called it too. All right. Congratulations, Ice Guardian. All right. It's official. Email me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com and uh, claim your prize. Uh, for those of you from the game, we'll make sure that we get everything squared away over the weekend when I have a little bit more time. Uh, tomorrow... I'm going to try to get Rambo up and running. Uh, we actually have Chris in the in the chat. We're going to do the short mission one. We got everything painted for it, so I'm looking forward to it. We're going to do it in solo mode, so uh, we're going to do that. And then next week, uh, the plan is to do the first blood, one of the missions from there. 
uh, I've got the shares painted for that too, and rainbow mm -hmm. painted for that, as well as uh, try to do two to three players sometime late in the week. Uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, I painted already. Game. Sorry, bro. Um, dude, Rob is a machine. Uh, so that's the way we're gonna do that. Uh, we've got so many other things. We've got Dungeoneer coming. We've got GMT games that we're going to, uh, that we got Battle for Rhode Island. We've got Space Empires that we're going to be doing. We've got we got the Order of the Vampires that uh, I started working on. That's almost done. I've got uh, Hunters. We still have to do. Uh, Goodness. Dark Light. More. Uh, I'm a Mori. person. I yeah yeah. Uh, and then I got a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, Edgefall. Good we gravy. Got, we got that. Folks, the list goes on and on. If there's something in particular oh, oh, you want to oh, see. A game called Lifeform came in today. Lifeform. Uh, oh. Yes, you're going to want to see what we do with that. That sounds really interesting. I'm, I'm yes. curious about that one now. Yes. There's a particular yes. game y'all want to see, though. You make sure to let us know in the comments below. Yeah, what is Space Empires? Well, Martha, it is probably one of the coolest games you will ever see. Uh, it's from GMT. It is, uh, first you'll see a uh, video on the game. I've already done a video game on it, but they just came out with the fourth edition. So Sweet. we're just going to go through a brief overview, talk about the game, how awesome it is. Uh, and we will go from there. All right. Sounds awesome. Great. Until next time for do replicators. Gim, I gotta just try to get done what I can, bro. I try to get done what I can. One thing at a time. Uh, one thing at a time. I'm exhausted. <laughs> No, really. I mean, y'all, y'all, uh, the man. Yeah, put replicators so much is great, work but I, I want to make sure that we highlight because GMT sent us a pile of games, and thank you, GMT, once again for being as awesome as you guys are. Uh, they've been doing a great job. Yeah. And uh, do you got anything to say, Miss Helen? Give this one a like. Make sure you subscribe because there's more subscriber games coming up in the future. So got to get that. Well, we've got more stuff coming than you could ever, ever, ever. And if you are a, if you are a member of Amazon Prime, then we would like you. We would ask you to please consider supporting us over on Twitch with your Amazon Prime subscription. It comes free as part of your Amazon Prime. You just have to go find Rob's Tabletop World over there and uh, subscribe. And and you can be a member here over on. YouTube too. You get right. a special you can be a green member highlight. here on YouTube too. You get special. Uh, you get some special uh, I icons and whoa. Like uh oh, Nambu ninety nine just subscribed. You know what that means? Oh wow! Wow! Before we even signed off, he got it in. He got it in just in time. Oh, uh, and how uh, the t shirts? Oh, oh yeah, t shirts. Teespring. There should be. There is a. If you scroll down past all of the stuff. <laughs> yeah, we know. We're working on getting that shrunk up to that to a smaller bit so it's easier. But there is a link to Rob's Tabletop World merchandise. We have logo wear. We have War and Pieces. We have the Arena League. We've got um, the, we have uh, what it, Permadeath for Life shirts now. Thank you, Kabuki. Um, yeah, Kabuki. Yeah. Uh, Kabuki, we have, we have a shirt two, that, that you... Two different versions of Permadeath for Life, no less. Yeah. We, uh, what, what was the one? Permadeath for Life. And then the other one says... So one says Permadeath for Life across the front, and it has our logo on the back. And then the other one says... Is our logo on the front. It says Home of Permadeath. And the back says hashtag Permadeath for Life. <laughs> Home of the Permadeath. Yep. Rob's so, Yeah, no, Earth. they're amazing. It was All a right, great idea, hey. and we had to run with it. So yeah, head over. Mambo ninety nine, you demand. Thank you. Let's see if he let's see if he gets some music. Oh, we have another follower too. Cool. We got a follower. Nice. Nothing quite like the run in Pikachu there. Oh, he did not get the. He did oh, not no get music. The music. That ain't right. That ain't right. He deserved it too. We'll do one more for Mambo. So from one muscle head to another. Nice. Attaboy. Come on. 
There we there go. We hey, Zeblik is gonna feel totally bad. You didn't give him to. That's Who's gonna feel left out? <laughs> last game, last time we did this, he was being super stingy, and like everybody was getting something special except Zeblik. Yeah, I know. Poor, Poor guy. guy. Poor guy. That's all right. All right we there we go. Anyway. All right, I think we've I think we've done it. We've done it all. I think we've done it all. We said it all. We've done it all. We said it all. We did what we had to do. We did. We'll be back tomorrow because, I mean, what else is new? What else is new? Nothing. Just be here with Rob's table. What video world. do I have going up tomorrow? Uh, that's a trick question. Give me a second. I can tell you. Hold on. We're going to tell you what we got going up at, at 11 o'clock. What is August? I know I put something for Friday. Oh, uh, no, I know what it is. Uh, GMT, uh, um, beneath, beneath the, med. the med. You're going to want to check that out. You're going to want to check that out. That's another uh, uh, GMT. Mm. Yeah. Gotta love they, those they, guys. They, they yeah, we got a war and pieces on Friday. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then we got other stuff. There's always other stuff. I mean, folks. There's always other stuff. There is fact, something for everyone. Make sure you check it. We've got how many bazillion videos now? <laughs> We're at 3,000 3, videos. I mean, so there's something for everybody. And best of all, yeah. a lot of what we do is not what you're going to see on other channels. Mm -hmm. Check out our videos. We're all over find, the place. A, find a gem that you know nobody else knows about and share it with everybody, else, with your gaming group, your family, your mm -hmm. friends, the world. By the way, uh, um, next week we'll probably be seeing Frostgrave, uh, second edition. Uh, everything's done. Everything's mm -hmm. done. So now we just got to play it. Uh, Hopefully you check out today's video. I really, I, I think I did. It. It's one of the videos I really enjoyed because I went and explained things and I did it a little differently. So I, I feel good about that one. Hope you guys enjoy it. That's all I can say. It, yeah, it might make the game totally a little bit one. easier for you. What? Kabuk totally needs a shirt. He needs. She needs one of each. Yeah, you got to go get one. Rob's Tabletop World, the home of the permadeath. <laughs> We, we got to put that in the title somehow. We got to figure that out. Yeah, I know. I know, Helen. I know. I know. We'll, we'll talk offline. <laughs> All right, listen. Enough. We, we, you had enough of us. Say goodbye, Helen. Take it easy, everybody. Have a great one. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.